Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about my transition out of the military. I do see people, you know, they're scared to get out of the military. They don't know what's next and they're kind of just like, what am I going to do with my life? I wanted to share my transition story to hopefully inspire some of you guys so that you guys don't think that anybody that gets out of the military is just going to fall on their ass, okay? Because it's not true. But it is true that it does happen to those that don't prepare for when they get out. So let me share my story with y'all. So I got out in 2012 and I was already in college so I just continued going to college and I was actually a VA work study. If you guys don't know what that is, if you guys are using your GI Bill, you guys are able to work for minimum wage. So, like basically anywhere on, a, I think it's on a military installation or a VA hospital, they'll accept you as a student and you just do, it's like literally super easy. Half the time I wasn't even working, I was doing homework. And so yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so y'all have that same opportunity as well. I believe if the program still exists, I'm pretty sure it does. So I went ahead and did that. I graduated with my bachelor's degree and then I was also working at USAA for insurance. I was um, I'm actually licensed, but it's expired in property and casualty insurance. I didn't work there that long. Um, also, my ex-husband at the time was in the military, so I was still, you know, in, um, in Arizona at that time. So doing that, working for USAA, then I stopped and then I moved back home because obviously that didn't work out. So I moved back home to California. At that time, I was like, I gotta get a job, it's time to go. I had already been looking and I got a job really quick and it was working with veterans and it was awesome because I was actually helping veterans transition out and for those that had already got out like Vietnam War vets, I was helping them as well. So basically what I was doing is I worked for the HVRP program, which is Homeless Veterans Reintegration Program, and that would assist veterans with um, housing allowance, it would assist them with job knowledge, I would teach resume classes, I would do interview techniques, everything like that. Um, at that time I was still going to school and uh, my, my degree that I was pursuing at that time was my master's degree in management with a concentration in human resource management. So I was also working in HR because I was helping with hiring for the company, reading over resumes, callbacks, all that kind of stuff. So basically I was helping our veterans get jobs, essentially, that's what I was doing. So we would help them out with gas cards if they needed a uniform for their job, we would do that as well. But I didn't even know about those programs before I started working there, I didn't even know that that existed. But my transition story, so I was working there, I was making really good money for what I was doing and I, while I was working there, I graduated with my master's degree and um, ever since then, you know, things have just been great. I, I actually got pregnant and everything like that and I decided to stay home because, you know, I wanted to raise my baby, which there's nothing wrong with doing that. Then I also had time left on my GI Bill, so I went to school to become an esthetician and I actually became a lash artist. I'm three times certified, okay? and actually opened up my own spa, my own business, and that was awesome. And um, now, without sharing too much into it, my husband and I are in a different position to where, basically I'm helping him at the business that he owns. But my whole point with telling that story is that the transition does not need to be hard. You do not need to, I have, I have always been making my own money. I've never need, needed to rely on any man. I've never needed, I've only relied on myself, uh, financially and stuff like that. So you can, you can do it too. And it's really what you, so here are my suggestions for you when you get out, okay? This is just stuff that I've learned and things that I've seen my veterans go through when I was working with them. You guys need to have plans when you get out. Don't wait until you're out to start looking for a job. You should be looking for a job way before that time. Like, I think some people, they know when they're gonna get out, probably a year, even six months. That's when you start looking for a job. You start networking, you start making a LinkedIn, you start doing all of that stuff. You should have been going to school because your school's free. You get the little TA assistance. You should have been going to school, getting your degree so that when you get out, you're like, boom, I got this. You know what I'm saying? Also, it makes sure that your credit cards and stuff are paid up. You wanna have a nice stack savings account because what if you don't get that job? Let's say you waited later and you don't get that job. How are you gonna pay your bills? You gotta have a savings account, okay? Um, also, I, I would speak to the VA. Get your VA claim in, y'all. Like, I got my VA claim in. I had to go through a VA claim three different times. And my, my husband only had to go through it twice. I actually helped my husband um, a little bit with the, his VA stuff because I had gone through it. Um, my husband had a different transition out as well because I had already transitioned out. So 
I kind of helped him with that, like, oh, you can do this, do this. But he had a way easier because he was at a, he didn't get out from tech school. Like he had been in for like five and a half, half years, but he was at a tech school at that time learning a language. So they had, if their, his process of getting out was so much easier. He's actually medically retired and I'm medically retired as well. And his process was so much easier than mine. So I think it's easier now, just the process, not getting that, not getting medically retired, but just the process of going through everything is easier. You need to make sure that you file your claim as soon as you can, don't wait on that. You need to make sure that if you're transferring your GI Bill to your children, that you go ahead and do that before you get out. You wanna make sure that you know exactly where you're gonna live, <laughs> like all this kind of stuff. I always tell people like, move to a veteran's, uh, like Texas, Tennessee is vet friendly and stuff. They have a lot of programs in place for us. So, I mean, that's that's just my advice to you guys. Not everybody gets out and falls on their ass. I have had some friends that have gotten out and fallen on their ass. And I've also had some friends that have freaking gotten out, gone to school, did the whole VA. It's a work study, y'all. It's a work study. I had some friends that became a work study and they did amazing, okay? They did amazing. They. It, it's just awesome seeing people just do very well. I also have another friend that I actually went to basic training with. She's a cop now in New York. Like that is so awesome, y'all. Like just use those skills. Get your resume built up. I think I have a video. I do have a video on my channel like, from way back in the day. Look at that because that's when I was teaching resume classes for veterans because a lot of y'all don't write the right verbiage on there and you guys don't know how to explain exactly what you did without using military verbiage when you should be using a different type of verbiage so that the people that you're applying for actually know what you're talking about. So those are just my tips for y'all if y'all are trans, uh, transitioning out. If you guys are transitioning out because you guys got in trouble, don't cause any more trouble than what you're already in. Don't have that if it attitude. Just go, go silently, walk out, and do what you gotta do. Just make sure that you have your health insurance in place and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them down below. I am very passionate about helping veterans and just getting them out. I'm not a VA counselor. I can't help you through your VA, what is it called? Uh, your VA medical claim. I can't help you through that. I can't help you through um, a, what is it called? A medical board. I did go through a med board though. Like and I had to go to San Antonio and do the whole, like I had to do a whole thing with that. Okay y'all. But I, I don't know the rules anymore to that. So I wouldn't be that great with that. I can only tell you guys my experience. So, yeah, just make sure you guys have that stacked savings account, y'all. Just do it. Go ahead and hit a like and subscribe and welcome to all my new subscribers. Y'all are awesome, and I will talk to y'all later.